Hello everyone, it's Marquez here from bsvsearch.com. This week, a few people reached out to me about using Electrum SV. For example, I received an email uh, like this one. He, he said, uh, Hi Marquez, I'm having trouble getting my BSV from my cold wallet onto an account on Electrum SV wallet by importing my private key despite following your video. Even though I managed to import the private key, the account still shows a zero balance. Is it possible for you to help me with this through personal tuition with you? Of course, I'd be more than happy to pay for your time. I'm not very technically minded and I'm concerned that my BSVs are frozen on the cold wallet. I appreciate the genuine and sincere approach and uh, also the offer of paying me for my time. But I figure that he would not be alone and there are many others who are going through a similar thing. So I decided to do this video and take everyone through overcoming the recent uh, hiccups with Electrum SV. I fired up my Electrum SV, installed the latest version, 1.3.16. I went to bitaddress.org to create a test uh, wallet. I deposited a few Satoshis onto that wallet and tried to activate it using Electrum SV. And indeed, it says not connected. And on the history tab, it's not showing any activity. So if you are experiencing the same issue with Electrum SV, then stick around, this video is for you. I'll show you a workaround this problem. One of the first thing I did then was to check uh, in Twitter or x.com to see who's posting about it. And fortunately, we have Kurt Walker Jr. from GorillaPool.com who's posted about this and he said, if you want to connect to GorillaPool's Electrum SV server, then here is a step-by-step -step guide. Please share. It is modified from Roger T's article, but explains how to select Gorilla Pool. You've got other options too, but we're providing a reliable one. So checking out what they've written here. It says here, using Electrum SV with Gorilla Pool, block broken servers and get your wallet connected. So it seems to be about broken servers. You've got those details here requirements, you're free to connect and use our endpoint with your wallet. This article will also help describe how to block broken or problematic servers that's preventing your wallet from connecting to ours. We recommend the latest version of Electrum SV at the time of this writing. You should only download the wallet from the official source. So indeed, you have to do that. You download the latest version if you haven't done so already and make sure you're downloading it from that website and nowhere else. Next thing is you need to identify the broken servers. So if you're using Mac, you're going to launch onto the terminal and you do that. I don't use Mac, so for those who do, the instructions here are for you. Now for me, because I use Windows, I went straight to C users, my username, app data roaming Electrum SV. Now, if you find the folder like app data and you can't actually see the, the folder, it could be that you are not viewing hidden files. So what you do is you go to your file explorer, you go to C users, your username and then app data. You right click on the folder app data, you cl right click on show and then you need to tick on hidden items. That way you'll be able to see the config file. You right click it and then you open it with your favorite text editor. If you're using Mac OS, you can do a shortcut and you can type these commands from your command line. And then once you've opened the config file onto your text browser, take a look and find a sequence of text that looks like this. In my case, it was an Electrum X dot bitcoin sv dot io that was causing the problem it was something else so in your case it might be something else for me it was the server sv dot satoshi dot io that was causing the problem i don't know if there's a few more but in my case i've only seen one reference to a server and it looked like this once you find it then what you do is you look for that uh, text that says last blacklisted uh, and it would normally be saying zero and what you do then is you type it over with that value there. So you cut that and you paste it on the config file. Make sure then to save 
the changes you've made on the config file. Then fire up your ElectroMS vWallet, because the next thing you need to do is you're going to connect to Gorilla Pool's Electrum SV server. In case you're wondering where to find this, once you open up your Electrum SV, you go to Tools on the navigation bar at the top, and then you click on Network. Then this network pop-up window will come up, and on the server here, you might see something else. But what you then do is you copy the details provided by Gorilla Pool so that you can use their server. So you type that in, and that port number as well. You replace it there. And I think if it's ticked like select server automatically, you'll obviously want to untick that. So untick that to make sure it's clear and press close. And as we can see here, that's the end of the instructions from Gorilla Pool. So what you then do is you close off your Electrum SV software. So fire up your Electrum wallet once more. And when you log on, what you expect to see is that on the history tab, you'd be able to see the history of that transaction. And you'd also see the word connected here, which now indicates that your wallet is connected to the blockchain. And you can now transact as you would normally do. I hope then that this guide fixes your Electrum SV issues for you. And let's thank Roger Taylor and the person there with handle dollar root at Gorilla Pool who wrote this workaround for us. Now this week, I was lucky enough to be tipped by two users on x.com this week. The user's name were BSV Godfather and Nescafe. They tipped me at this Bitcoin address, that one. So let's go check it out at whatsonchain.com. That's the address. It shows that the, the wallet had two transactions. So if we click on it to see the details, indeed, there were two transactions there. Thank you very much, Nescafe and BSV Godfather. That's very much appreciated. Thank you. I'm going to pass on a bit of that love to gentlemen here like Roger Taylor, the author of this solution called Dollar Root, and also Kurt Walker Jr. for sharing the solution with us. Before we continue, though, I'd like to go back to one of the concerns of the user who contacted me about this issue. He was worried about losing his PSVs stored in his cold wallet. And when you are ever worried about this, what you do is you go to a blockchain explorer like uh, whatsonchain.com and you check your wallet. You, you go to this address, you you type in your address uh, here, you click the search button there, what's on chain then reads the blockchain and it shows you your balance right here. So as, as long as you can see the balance right there, then it shows that your BSVs are recorded correctly under the correct Bitcoin wallet written on the Bitcoin blockchain. All you need then is to find a wallet that can activate that cold wallet or sweep that balance so that you can actually eventually send it or transfer it to someone when you need to. Let's go back to uh, tipping the gentleman who worked out the solutions. I just want to make sure we can find their uh, addresses. So we've got Kurt Walker Jr. here. Where can we tip him? We're looking for a wallet, details of our wallet. Twitter has this option here. It says Cash App. Okay, I haven't used Cash App before, although it's got a hand cash look about it. So it could be hand cash. I'll give this wallet a go and I'll probably do a video about it. I can see dollar roots. Um, Username on Handcash, so that's not a problem. Now let's find out where Roger Taylor's tipping address would be. Let's go check out the article that he wrote to see if he's mentioned anything there. This is the article. That's the address if you wanted to have a look at it. Let's check if he's written his uh, tipping address somewhere. He doesn't. Maybe it's on the Electrum SV website support. No, it's a GitHub maybe on his twitter account then donations not accepted all right okay it looks like he's not uh, accepting donations which is fair enough well thank you roger taylor for the work you're you're doing there for electrum sv so before we finish off if you haven't subscribed to this channel 
please subscribe. And if you think the content here will help someone you know, please share this with them. And I hope you come visit us at psvsearch.com and use it to sell any new or used products or goods that you've got lying at home. Or if you've got a business, obviously you can list it there if you are accepting BSVs in exchange for the goods and services that you are selling. Enjoy the rest of your day. This is Marquez from BSV Search. Bye.